iReady is an engaging online assessment and instruction program. And here's a brief overview of iReady. Since 1969, Curriculum Associates has been dedicated to making classrooms better places for teachers and students. There's no better reflection of our commitment to teachers and students than iReady, an integrated K-12 blended learning solution, a math and reading program that saves teachers time and personalizes learning for all students. When thinking about iReady, think of it as three distinct parts, a K-12 adaptive diagnostic with progress monitoring, personalized online learning and intervention, and everyday classroom instruction. We begin with our valid, reliable, and critically acclaimed online assessment. Through tech-enhanced questions that reflect the rigor of current state tests, iReady assessments provide a complete picture of student performance and growth. The iReady diagnostic will pinpoint student needs on a K-12 spectrum and provide data that will help drive personalized and teacher-led instruction. The iReady diagnostic is intelligent. It adjusts based on student response patterns. It derives large amounts of information using a limited number of test items. Every student is unique, therefore every student's actual performance level will vary. Upon completion of the diagnostic, reports are generated instantaneously at the district, school, class, and individual level. Reports that allow you to gauge if students are on track to meet annual growth targets. Reports that can identify which standards students are struggling with and the students who need the most help. Reports that allow educators with the click of a button to group students based on common learning needs. A robust reporting system that pinpoints the skills each student needs to develop domain by domain. The diagnostic gives us data. That data drives personalized instruction and intervention. iReady Instruction. Meet Plory and Youp. Together, they encourage our youngest learners through interactive lessons. Our older learners will meet iReady characters appropriate for their age level. And the content, it's all part of a personalized online instruction plan informed by their diagnostic assessment. Remember, the assessments give us data, and that data helps drive personalized and teacher-led instruction every day and every week. iReady differentiates by providing individual online tutorials, small group skill-focused mini lessons, and an online filing cabinet filled with whole group instruction. For all ages, the iReady instruction engages, personalizes, and delivers rigorous math and reading instruction. Each online lesson follows the same instructional format. Each lesson begins with explicit instruction, teaching skills with familiar characters and real world scenarios. The lessons continue with guided practice. Once the skill has been taught, students practice what they've learned and along the way, students receive corrective feedback to reinforce understanding. The lessons conclude with progress monitoring. We'll know whether students are learning by ending each lesson with a short assessment, a check for understanding. iReady goes beyond online lessons by providing resources that are accessed in our online filing cabinet called the Teacher Toolbox. The Teacher Toolbox houses all teacher-led instruction. This includes whole class instruction and assessment, small group differentiation, including reteach lessons, hands-on learning, and centers activities. Teacher-led instruction is always one click away. According to survey results from a national sample of K-5 teachers and instructional coaches, educators who use iReady assessment are mo more likely to say that their assessment effectively links to targeted instruction than those who use other leading assessment programs. So this year we decided to focus mainly on iReady instead of 
we still use map testing, but we really focused on the iReady data. And with that iReady data, um, we were able to drive our instruction, build our groups, and do effective interventions for our students. So when we were trying to figure out what kind of assessment we were going to use to drive instruction this year, we looked at intensiveintervention.org on our MTSS state website, and iReady was ranked number one and also the most reliable and valid diagnostic test and growth monitoring assessment available. iReady all starts with the adaptive diagnostic that you just learned about in the video. The adaptive test identifies students' strengths and weaknesses in both reading and math. The reading domains in iReady focus on phon phonological awareness, phonics, high frequency words, vocabulary, comprehension literature, and comprehension informational text. And then math domains are numbers and operations, measurement and data, algebra and algebraic thinking, and geometry. One of the most beneficial thing with iReady is that it gives you data-driven decisions. So after you've given the diagnostic, you are able to have the in-the-moment lesson plans for addressing skill gaps identified by that diagnostic. You also get lesson plans that can be found in either the reports or the teacher toolbox. Some other things that we loved about iReady is that it delivers differentiated small group and one-on-one -on -one instruction. Um, it gives you reteaching and scaffolding instruction. It's very flexible to all the teachers, um, the specialists, and even the paraprofessionals and it's responsible and responsive instruction planning before a quarter, unit, a lesson, or just your quick checks. At ASB Innovation Academy, we used um, iReady as instruction and intervention. iReady recommends that you use um, the program at least 45 to 90 minutes per subject per week. So looking at that, we didn't have a lot of teaching time and time to really fit in iReady, so we decided to build it into our interve intervention blocks. So with Tier 1 students, they get 45 minutes per subject per week, and they use either the PATH, the MyPATH, or the Teacher Assigned Lessons. Tier 2 is 45 minutes, plus we give an additional 25 minutes in their intervention groups, their WIN intervention groups, per subject, per week, using the pathway, and teacher assigned lessons and their small group one-on-one -on -one instruction. Tier three students are given 45 minutes as well, 25 minutes in WIN intervention groups per subject per week. And they're given teacher assigned lessons and small groups. So they also get that one-on-one -on -one intervention with teachers. The best thing about iReady is that it gives you personalized learning action plans. So after you've given the diagnostic, you can meet with your PLC team and you can go over and look at all the students that fall under tier two, tier three, and develop a personalized instruction action plan. It's very important that you develop a routine of reviewing students' lessons, alerts, time on task, and percent of lessons passed. Each of these components help us determine how much progress students are making and where the where the potential intervention is needed for that student. Standard mastery and growth monitoring through iReady is super beneficial. In this PowerPoint, I've linked four different um, resources that you can use. There's a standard mastery um, results by test, so you can actually set the standards in iReady so the students are only focusing on the priority standards or the, test, or the standards that are linked to um, the current standard that you're teaching. There's a planning worksheet for teachers. Um, this planning worksheet allows you to differentiate your students. It puts them into groups and then it gives you like a timeline of what time of the day you can work on this intervention with students, how you're pulling them into groups. Um, the data, data analysis template is um, a way to break down that data after you've given a diagnostic or even after progress monitoring. And then the growth monitoring is a worksheet or a, a template that allows you to look at the growth monitoring data as you're giving it to your students, usually your tier two or tier three students. And all of these resources can be found in iReady Central. It's a huge resource that every teacher will be available to have. iReady Central gives you every kind of information that you need to navigate iReady, as well as any template or instructional resources that you may need some further information on. Here's a snapshot of ASB Innovation Academy data using iReady this year. Like I said earlier, we had looked at NWEA, but it was too broad for us to really narrow down our focus for instruction and grouping at ASB. So 
we really focused on um, those diagnostic tests with iReady. And at the beginning of the year, as you can see up here, um, as soon as we gave the fall diagnostic, we, we were really concerned because 23% of our students were only at proficiency, while 31% were um, intensive students. And so that's where we really decided to focus on our win intervention groups and and breaking down every single student in that tier two and tier three category to see what their personalized instructional needs were. So this was math fall. We tested iReady um, at the beginning of September, and then we gave another winter diagnostic, and then we gave another diagnostic in the spring. We gave it in March. Next time, we will definitely wait until May or further in the year to give that third diagnostic, but with all the other testing, we decided to give it a little bit earlier this year. Um, nonetheless, our results are very good. So you can see that we went from 23% proficient to 42% proficient in math. And then in the, in the fall, we were 31, profi or 31 intensive, and then we dropped that number to 24 intensive. And same with reading, we had huge results. So at the beginning of the year, we noticed that 28% of our students were only at proficiency, while 30% were intensive. And in March, when we did our spring assessment, we ended up with 43% of our students at ASB proficient in reading and 23% intensive. And the cool thing about this data is that after we were doing, we just wrapped up state assessment and our numbers are exactly um, the same percentage of proficiency that we saw at iReady. Even as far as our students' indi individual reports, their points that they received on their spring diagnostic for reading and math in iReady were just a few points off from our state assessment. So the data is very reliable. And then I just put a snapshot of some of our students' growth throughout the year. It's really important that we just don't focus on our Tier 2 and Tier 3 students, but also our Tier 1 students. Um, those kids that come in a little bit higher than grade level or at grade level, they still need to grow. Our job is to make sure that they're still learning. So we also focused on our Tier 1 kids, and that's where our the My Path comes into play with iReady because it'll give them what they need at their grade level, and then it'll just get more rigor for them so that they're also learning. And so you can see growth here. This student made 236% growth towards their annual typical growth, while their stretch growth, which is a really hard growth to obtain, is at 130%, along with this student who had 350% growth. Um, and then uh, again over here, they came in as a mid-seventh grader, um, but only made growth throughout the year, which is awesome. Here's a look at some of our tier two students. These students were the 45 minutes of instruction of each content area per week, along with 25 minutes in intervention instruction during our intervention groups. And you can see that the progress is just the same or even greater, 275% um, towards annual typical growth, 127% towards annual stretch growth. And to clarify stretch growth and typical growth, typical growth is the average typical growth you see of every student coming in at the beginning to the end of the year. Your annual stretch growth is a hard percentage to reach or hard to, harder to reach than your typical growth because it's that growth that the student has to make to make sure that they get caught up to grade level. So again, lots of growth with these two students. And then our tier three students that were getting 45 minutes of instruction in both reading and math um, along with 25 minute additional intervention instruction. So you can see the student came in at grade one and at our spring assessment is now averaging a grade three. Um, again, made 247% towards average typical growth, 92% towards stretch growth. And the growth's also huge with this student. And this student has great growth. and some more. So we did see the, the most growth with our tier three students, which was our goal as a school this year. So yeah. So once again, I will share this link with everybody so you have all of the um, links that are posted inside of this presentation. And if you have any questions, reach out to Dr. Arneson and she can probably clarify more questions.